Good morning, y'all. Good afternoon. Good evening to you. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome uh, to this crazy house with me, your host, Khadija. Okay, let me um, let me let me tell y'all something about your boy, Forty Five, the Supreme uh, Malignant Narcissist that we have in the White House. Okay. Uh, this article was written by, um, Trevor Tim. It's a good article. And Trevor says, uh, if Venezuela or Iran were perpetrating this nightmare, the U.S. would stand against it. Instead, it is, officials are promising more of a beatdown of the citizens. A remarkable and nightmarish scene playing out in Portland should terrify anyone who cares about the U.S. Constitution. Unmarked vans full of camouflage and unidentified federal agents are pulling up next to protesters on street corners, then snatching and arresting them with no explanation. If this were happening in Venezuela or Iran, the U.S. government will be threatening international sanctions. Since it's happening in the U.S., Trump's acting Department of Homeland Security, uh, the secretary, is defending this decision and promising even more. Okay, so nobody can't do nothing about it because Homeland Security, I guess that's the excuse y'all making now. See, because this, to me, no disrespect, this is just... um. Certainly not black folk madness. So, what? Okay. The stories from witnesses and those who have been picked up by the unmarked vans, apparently being operated by Customs and Border Protection, CBP, uh, which is under the Department of Homeland Security's control, are downright terrifying. One victim told the New York Times, one of the officers said, it's okay, it's okay and just grabbed me and threw me in a van. Another officer pulled my beanie down so I couldn't see anything. The same person told the Washington Post I was terrified. It seemed like it was something out of a horror or a sci-fi movie, like a Philip K. Dick novel. Um, it was like being preyed upon. Still another of uh, told Portland's Oregon public broadcaster, I see guys in camouflage. Four or five of them pop out on me. They open the door. And it was just like, oh, shit. I, I don't know who you are or what you want with us. They just start grabbing us. Y'all, you got... This is insanity. This is what 45 has brought. You know. This is the chaos that narcissists do. Um, in their household. When you're living with a narcissist, this is what they do. They make chaotic uh, situations. They're never at easy. Um, they're at ease, I'm sorry. Everybody in the environment feels as if they're walking on eggshells because their uh, significant other or the head of the household or their mother, um, whoever, is out of their freaking mind. The incidents being described sound eerily reminiscent of the CIA's post-911 rendition program. And that was under George Bush, where intelligence agents would roll up in unmarked vans in foreign countries, blindfold terrorism suspects, many of who turned out to be innocent, and kidnap them without any explanation. Only Instead of occurring on the streets of Italy or in the middle of the East, I mean, or the Middle East, it's happening in downtown Portland. Virtually all of Portland's local leaders, as well as Oregon's leading representatives in Congress, have condemned the situation and called for an investigation. But so far, 
the Department of Homeland Security and the Trump administration don't seem to be deterred at all. Who's letting all this shit happen? So there's no checks and balances on this dude, huh? The acting secretary of Department of Homeland Security, Chad Wolf, released a statement Friday lamenting that Portland had declined the department's offer of support. So the Department of Homeland Security just went in and sent in its thugs anyway. Um, the Department of Homeland Security's list of reasons for invading Portland and implementing its terror squads amid what it calls rampant, long-lasting violence. Uh, it consists mostly of graffiti incidents and minor property damage. So that's what they call the feds in for. Portland is almost 400 miles away from the Canadian border and 80 miles from the Pacific Ocean. It's unclear what legal authority, if any, allows CBP to be terrorizing the streets to hunt down graffiti artists, even if they think they can. And even if they think they can operate anywhere that's 100 miles from the border. In other words, it's illegal. Or it should be. Worse, Judging from the witnesses, CBP isn't just defending federal business uh, buildings, as it claims. Uh, interviews show officers were also detaining people on the streets who aren't even near the federal property. Nor is it clear that all people being arrested have engaged in criminal activity. Protesters told the OPP that they think that they were targeted by federal officers simply by wearing black clothing in the area of the demonstration. The CBP has reportedly indiscriminately fired tear gas at these protesters despite the judge banning Portland's police officer from doing so. So with that, they permanently injured a person who was shot in the head from a so-called less-than-legal gun. They at least fired the officer and uh, fired its weapons at at least one journalist. Uh, Homeland Security, even in the pre-Trump era, has been an enormous waste of taxpayers' resources, full of massive government waste and abuse, and a civil liberties disaster to boot. Back in 2015, I called for it to be abolished in the pages of The Guardian. Under, the Trump, under Trump, it has reached new levels of depravity. It's disturbing. The anti-immigration actions have shown agents seemingly going out of their way to be as cruel as possible to those that they apprehend. Anyone has only to spread to read the news from the past few weeks to witness the Department of Homeland Security's corruption and creeping authoritarianism. In one story, Government auditors have found that the CBP spent money meant for food and medical supplies for detained migrants on ATV and dirt bikes for themselves. In another one, the Department of Homeland Security deployed predator drones, helicopters, and planes to spy on Black Lives Matter protests in um, 15 American cities. With their actions in Portland, their authoritarianism is no longer creeping 
the DHS and the CBP are acting on full on secret police. Secret freaking police. If there are not steep consequences for these disturbing actions, there will be no limits to where this type of shit will lead. This is insane. It's absolutely insane. Camouflage federal agents. They pretty much taking over Portland. 